Hi, this is Jean, the Computer Tutor, and today I'm going to show you how to create a quick spreadsheet in Google Docs that you can use to save your login usernames and passwords into one place. So the first thing you need to do is to log into your Gmail account. And if you don't have one, they're very easy to set up. You can just go to gmail.com and get yourself started there. Once you get logged in, you'll automatically be given access to Google Docs as well, where you can create files. And the way that you do that is after you get logged in, you'll see this top search bar at the top of the screen. You're going to click on um, the entry that either says Drive or Docs. And when you do, you come to this screen. And what you're going to do is to go up to the Create button. And today we're going to create a spreadsheet. Um, if you click where it says Untitled Spreadsheet, you can give it a title, which I am going to call this Information, and click OK. And then from here, you're just going to give your column, um, column headings a name, and I'm going to start with Site Name, and then go to the next one, and I'm going to call this the URL. And the next one is username, password, and comments. And I like to just make the fields a little bit bigger. Um, so you just move your cursor to the top of the column, get that double arrow, and just move it over a little bit to the right to make the columns a little bit bigger. And then once you've got that done, um, you're ready to go. So you can start keeping track of all your login and passwords here. For example, you could have um, this one could be called your Gmail account and the, the URL would be www.gmail.com and in my case it's Jean at Jean the Computer Tutor Dot com and that's what I mean by the columns being a little short you can move them and adjust them to the size that you need and then you can go ahead and enter in your password and any special comments that you want to save right here now the important thing when you're saving a file like this that has information that you don't want to share with others is you just want to go up to the share button and make sure that it is set to be shared only with yourself. And you can see right here, I'm the only person that has access to this file, so that's good. So now you're ready to go, and what I'd like you to do for this week's tech tip is to go through all your websites and maybe any little pieces of paper you have hanging around or um, you know, a Word document or wherever it might be that you're keeping all your different passwords. And I'd like you to collect them all into one nice organized system like this. This will save you a lot of time and agony later um, when you don't know what a password is for a certain site or you're trying to get there quickly and you can't remember your password. You'll have a nice central space to keep track of that. If you would like more computer help, you can contact me at um, www.genethecomputertutor.com and I would love to help you out with your computer needs. Have a great day!